Hey everyone, here's a question on parallelogram and the question is if an angle of a parallelogram is two third of its adjacent angle, find the angle of parallelogram. Now here, what is given? We have given that in a parallelogram there is an angle which is two third of its adjacent. Now what are adjacent angle? Now suppose I have a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, if you add any two adjacent angle, like this could be this two adjacent angle or this two or any two adjacent angle, the sum is always 180 degree. We are going to use this uh, rule here, this property here. And one more thing what they have given, the relationship between the adjacent angle. Like they have given that an angle, let me take the uh, adjacent angle to be x. Why I have taken the adjacent angle to be x here? Because they are comparing the angle of a parallelogram with the adjacent. So if I know adjacent angle, I can able to find out the other angle they are talking here. So I am going to assume the adjacent angle to be x. You can take any variable. So in this case I have taken variable x. Now this this is the adjacent angle x. Now this angle is a two third of its adjacent. So whatever this angle is, okay, the other adjacent angle I'm talking about, it will be two third of this adjacent angle which I have assumed to be x. So two third of x. Right. Now I got these two uh, angles x and the adjacent angle is two third of x. Now how to find out this value of x? Now, like I mentioned before, if I add two adjacent angle, the sum is 180 degree. This is a property of a parallelogram. Now remember this property, it is uh, really important to solve such kind of problems. Now if I add this two angle, uh, the sum has to be equal to 180 degree. So we're going to add it, we're going to form an equation. So this will be x plus the adjacent angle which is 2 third of x is equal to 180. Now we're going to solve this equation and get the value of x. But here you can see we have a fraction, 2, two third is a fraction, right? And here we don't have a number, this means there is a 1 here. Okay, we're going to assume, we'll, if there's a no number given, it means it will be, there will, there's a 1 there. Now how to do this? I'm going to take, I'm going to write down 1 in the denominator and uh, it doesn't, it will not going to change the value of x there. Now we're going to just add the fraction, you might have learned how to add the fractions or the rational number. We have to check if denominators are same. In this question they are not same, we have 1 and we have 3. So we're going to take the LCM of 1 and 3. So LCM of 1 and 3. So why are you taking LCM here? To make a denominator same. So that we can add the numerator. Now, uh, here for this first number you can see I have 1 here. I have to make this 1 into 3. So for that I have to multiply. Right? If I divide I will not get 3. I am going to multiply 1 with 3 because 1 3 is a 3. Same 3 I have to multiply in the numerator also. It is not like you should only in the denominator. You should do in both numerator and denominator. So here this will become, I am going to uh, solve this side. So x upon 1 multiplied by 3 and here also multiplied by 3. Plus for second number I am not going to do anything because I already have a 3 in the denominator. This is equal to 180. So this will become 3x upon 3 plus 2x upon 3 is equal to 180 degree. Now you can see denominators are same so I can add the numerators. So this will be equal to so 3 and then add the numerator 3x plus 2x is equal to 180. Now I don't want 3 in the denominator here. I'm going to transpose this to other side. 3 which is there in division when transpose this to other side comes in um, multiplication. And 3x plus 2x is 5x. So 5x is equal to 180 multiplied by 3. Now I want only the value of x. I don't want phi here. So I'm going to transpose phi to the other side. It comes in division. So x is equal to 180 multiplied by 3 divided by 5. Now we'll do a cancellation here. We're going to cancel 5 and 180. So 5 ones are 5. 5 threes are 15. Uh, 3 is left. So that makes a number 30. So 36. So 36 threes are 108. So here we got the value of x as 108. So the first adjacent angle is 108 degree. So the other angle will be that is 2 third of x we have given right. You can substitute here in 2 third of x or you can just do 180 minus 108 which will be 72 degree. So we have got the angles here one is 108 and one is 172 degree.
I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.